high. If you watched my last video, you would, if you know, you know. I literally just talked about wanting a new camera because the battery on this camera, when I turned it on to film the rest of that video after it overheated, it was at 86%. And I filmed maybe for like 10 minutes. Now it says my camera's at 80%. How do you lose 6% of battery in 10 minutes? Psh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm in the same outfit and the same everything. It's fine. Today I am actually giving you guys a random mini haul. I have not done a haul in a very long time and I'm quite aware of this. And again, mostly the reasoning is because David and I are doing a big financial thing <laughs> right now. So I'm trying to not spend a lot of money on things I don't need, hunker down in the house and just, you know, be a homebody. <laughs> be the homebody that I am. This is actually complete and utter because once you guys see my birthday haul, you're gonna be like, Samantha, what the actual f is wrong with you? I didn't go that crazy, the statement of, no, I haven't really been buying a lot, which is true. It's true, hence why you guys haven't seen a lot of hauls. However, I went a little wild for my birthday because it's my 30th, so I don't care. I have accumulated some random things I wanted to share with you guys, and I also did get a PR package from Verse, so thank you to Verse for sending some stuff out to me. I am super excited. I actually have already been using a lot of it, and I really love it. So with that being said, Let's just get right into it. So in the past, I have used this toner before. First Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. And I was very religious to this and I was using it all the time and I felt like it was like starting to break out my face. And of course, you know, your skin needs time to get used to stuff, blah, blah, blah. I ended up just stopped using it completely because I felt like it was drying out my skin. But since right now I'm trying to find a more affordable skincare routine, we're gonna give her another try. I actually really do like this a lot. I love this for after I take off my makeup and wash my face just to get rid of any excess makeup, oil, dirt, whatever's left on my face after because I feel like that's where most of my breakouts are coming from. Really acne prone skin since I went back to work. My face has just been breaking out so, so bad. And I really feel like it was because I was wearing a mask and I wasn't used to wearing a mask and in combination with my makeup and maybe not changing my mask, my masks out as often as I should, which is like every, they say like every two times you wear a disposable mask, you're supposed to get rid of it. I've been doing like three, <laughs> every three days, maybe, maybe pushing it to four, which I probably shouldn't have been doing. I really feel like this has been great in helping me and I really love the packaging even though I broke it. You know, this typical Sam style. This, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I've been wanting to try this forever. Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm with Eucalyptus Oil and Vitamin E. I love my Vanilla & Co one. I just have not been using it since I got this because it smells like eucalyptus, but to me it smells like Vicks Vaporub, but I really like that. I know I'm weird, it's fine. But I really love the packaging. I love the consistency. It gets all my makeup off. It leaves my skin feeling nice and refreshed. Now these next two items I have not had a chance to use yet because I'm currently using other stuff, but they also sent me the first start retinol retinol body lotion with squalene and cocoa butter so i actually have not opened this one yet i've just been so fixated with the skincare stuff for the most part mm, actually oh my gosh that smells really good that smells amazing the skin soak rich moisture cream for dryness and aging skin what are y'all trying to tell me <laughs> but i love that it says like what it's for on the back dryness aging skin breakouts i definitely will still give this a chance obviously because even if you have oily skin you should still be moisturizing even though it might feel like why am i just ugh. Uh, I understand, but you still should be doing it because it's good for your skin. So I to try this. So thank you, Verse, for sending me all that stuff. And the infamous headband, if you've seen my TikToks, I've been wanting this headband, honestly. So when they reached out to me, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm part of the girlies now. I'm so happy. Yes, I do have a promo code that I will share with you guys. I think it's SamReg10. I'll leave it right here in the description. If you guys want to go check them out and use my discount, I think you get 10% off. Really great brand. I love a lot of the stuff I've been trying so far. Much appreciate. Thank you guys so much for sending this stuff to me. I love everything so far that I've tried. Again, all over TikTok. And you've probably already seen all this stuff in my TikTok haul, so I apologize. But I have not been on my YouTube game lately, so we're showing YouTube fam too. Ashley Tisdale's brand is called Frenchie. I feel like I'm going to say that wrong. I ended up getting the lotion first. Unwind and Rest Lavender Cloud Milky Body Lotion. Mood Science Scent Technology, which smells amazing. I wouldn't know though because I can't smell this right now. How many times 
guys have I done that and it's been sealed? I did smell the body spray and I really liked it a lot. I'm really into having a lot of calming body products, calming body wash, calming body lotion at the end of the day. Because work has been stressing your girl out, let's be real. Like work is just, especially this time of year, if you know, you know, if you work with kids in any way, shape or form, like it just gets stressful or just working in general. So I just love things to help me wind down at night. I'm very excited to try this out. This was really random that I picked up. I found it on a random shelf because they were all sold out. This is the Being Frenchy Joy and Bliss Solar Fleur Hair Body and Linen Mist. And my mom was like, this smells like your Sol de Janeiro crap that I don't like because she did, fun fact, my mom does not like the Boom Boom Cream scent. I bought this and I didn't know what it smelled like, <laughs> to be honest, because I was still sick. And I was just like, mom, does this smell good? And she's like, that smells like your Sol de Janeiro. And I'm like, perfect. This actually smells really nice, really fresh, really different. I'm actually going to be getting rid of more of my body spray and stuff that I've still been hoarding and holding on to because I'm like I love this scent it's discontinued I'll never have it again but at the same time like you can't wear it on your body because it's like years old it's probably gonna give you reactions on to some more skincare I actually ended up picking up the CeraVe PM facial moisturizing lotion which is ultra lightweight I don't know how this is gonna be on my skin I'm using the night cream right now and I also use the regular moisturizing cream sometimes after I wash my face so far I've had no issues with the CeraVe stuff I actually I think I bought the cleanser Cleanser? No. Maybe I'm think no. Did I? No. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm thinking about buying the cleanser if I haven't already. I don't think I have yet. I've really been trying, like I said, to get into some cheaper skincare and now this stuff's like expensive. So what am I talking about? Cheaper skincare, Sam? Like I've really been trying to into some skincare that's just not so expensive, but also still effective for my skin. So there's that. Now it says I'm at 69%. Can we make this make sense, please? And now it's going to be bright outside after I have the ring light on. Ah, love that. Actually ended up picking up a small sample of this from the little Target area that they have with all like the mini size travel size things. And I actually really like this sunscreen a lot. I've been trying to use more sunscreen on my face, not just during the summertime, but just all year round. I ended up picking up the big size of the Hero Force Shield Super Light Sunscreen with broad SPF 30. Apparently this is supposed to be good if you have acne prone skin, which so far I haven't had any issues with. So I ended up going ahead and purchasing the big size. I actually really like like the the pump. It's like kind of cool. It's different. I do like the Bliss one I've been using, but I feel like it's also been contributing to like my breakouts a little bit. It is I've heard that mineral sunscreens make you break out. And someone fact check that in the comments for me, please. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but it's just what I've heard. So I was like, oh well, maybe that's part of the reason why. And then I also have the Glow Recipe watermelon sunscreen, but I'm scared to use that because not just a fragrance, because watermelon skincare is normally very hydrating. I have very weird combo skin. So sometimes watermelon skin skincare just does not work for me it makes me break out it makes me really oily again if you guys watch my tiktoks you've probably seen all these like mini hauls already i totally forgot to grab this but i also did get body the native sugar cookie body wash i just totally forgot to grab it but i picked up the holiday <laughs> deodorants because this is like one of my guilty pleasures now every year mostly native products i really love everything that i've tried from native i started using this deodorant as i'm itching my nose yeah so attractive yay yay good job sam i started using native deodorant probably like December 2019 and I've just been using them ever since. I really love this brand. It is a natural, natural, I'm going to put air quotes around that, deodorant brand, brand in general that uses like really good ingredients or whatever. It, it works really well for me and I've had no complaints with it and I feel like it's also, I mean my armpits are probably a little hairy, but my armpits used to be like so much darker and now they're not as dark, which is great. Definitely recommend. I got candy cane and sugar hookie. I had sugar hookie last year and I was obsessed with it. Had to get it and I missed out on candy cane last year and now this year they have a whole bunch of different scents and of course the one that my mom likes the lump of coal one they sold out typical they have like every other every other scent the eggnog one toasted what marshmallow one the fresh mistletoe one but they ran out of lump of coal that being said that was my random target haul you guys have kind of noticed i'm kind of trying to stay away from a lot of makeup stuff now and really just trying to use what i have appreciate what i have not to say that again it's going to be disappeared forever for me because i'm still always going to love makeup and beauty and i'm always going to purchase stuff but I think now that I'm getting older, my mindset is definitely like kind of changing and I'm like, mm, I, just, I just don't need all this. At the same time, you know, I do have some guilty pleasures with like body stuff now. So I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Like this video if you enjoyed. Turn on bell post notification you know when the I post a new video. And let me know down in the comments. I've said this in every video, but everyone's just like ignoring me. So thanks. Appreciate that. 
if there's any videos you guys want to see in general, you want to see Vlogmas, the holiday season in general, let me know down in the comments below. I am actually planning on doing a video I haven't done in like, oh my gosh, like five, no, six years. The last one was 2016, so I'm very excited to do that. And once I get my new phone, if you know, you know. Love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one.